Another specialist, let's see. Curse Hollow. Number of specialists work well here. Zarmoni. Abatua. One trick pony, Abathur dance game. <laughs> What's about amplifying damage at 16? It's the best one, Zero Kraken. I just happen to have been going for the full Q build. Do you think that HOTS could need more depth in some way, like some people criticize? I mean, more depth is always nice. It can be added with certain heroes or certain mechanics. But to be honest, I don't think so. I think it's nice as it is. I think uh, we need some more things to spend gold on though. Sometimes I wonder, when you play on a map and uh, all the objectives have been done, all the mark camps have been taken, I wonder what are we expected to do. But that's no different than StarCraft. Like, yeah, you can harass someone's worker line in StarCraft, I guess. But there are no creeps to be done. You're basically, like, in theory, you could wait in Turtle. It's the same in Heroes. Like, you can set a trap. You can even set really cool traps with uh, Medivac or something like this. But I think mostly it's just people's creativity, originality, daring, and skill that is lacking to prevent depth from happening. If you look at top Korean play, Korea vs. Korea, you will never think it lacks depth. It is so fast-paced, the fights are so incredible, it, honestly, it almost blows my mind, figuratively speaking. It's our uh, collective inadequacy that makes us sometimes feel like uh, it's not deep enough. I don't think it's the game's Hello. fault. It took a long time for Warcraft 3 to get to super high level as well. What we were doing in 2004 and 5, it was good, it was cool, it was fun, but for fast forward five years later to 2008, 2010, and it was low level comparatively. That's fine. We, how long is Heroes out? One year, two year, three year at most. Anyway, uh, with this comp against them... Maybe Gazlo would be good. I think Gazlo is good here. <laughs> I could have gone Zagara as well. It would be pretty decent. Zagara or Hammer. I think Gazlo is a pretty solid choice. Yeah, exactly. What happens all the time in Heroes of the Storm is people standing in lane, clearing uh, the lane, and then just waiting till the next one. So frequent. And it's fine. Like, if you want to play the game for fun and just play chill and just use your, uh, you know, just play comfortably. Go by your standard habits, see how it works out. That's absolutely fine. I'm not even judging it at all. But if we're talking about elevating our level to the highest level of play, we need to question everything. That means, what am I doing here? Is there a point to clearing this lane with four people when we could be doing something else? And that will speed up the game a lot at depth. But that's not meant for us common plebs. That's meant for the pros. Let them innovate. I just do this for fun because uh, I already completed the quest.
That's what this baby is built for! I think I embraced the Robogobo. Gather tribute and earn my favor. Yeah, baby. You I don't think I can do a whole lot of uh, auto-attacking. Avatar died to a Nubarak because he showed in lane at the siege camp. Lol. Slow enemy uh, stuffs. I think embracing the Robogobo was wise. The pressure is real. <laughs> Switch engage. <coughs> well, now I know why Gazzo's win rate is so high. Especially into Abathur. They don't have enough people to stop it. They did get the tribute. Incompetent fools. Can't even 4v5 every tribute. Do I have enough time for the Bruiser camp? For how long are you gonna stream, Grubby? Oh, a good well more, I think. That sound, I live for that sound. Luckily I got level 10 as I was here. There's soak, but there's also, oh never mind. I need to go, go set up. We probably don't want to get cursed. I can handle that. 
Perfect. Okay, not perfect. Another time. We'll get that camp another time. That's what this baby is built this mercenary camp. Is there enough time? Maybe. <laughs> Not bad. But they will get the curse? Will Abba waste the curse for them or will he wisely leave it? That's the question. We do have Sentinel to interrupt once. Back to business. Huh? Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, uh Murden's still alive? What face? <laughs> Not bad. Nice jukes, Mura. He might live. <laughs> he lives. Super juked. If I went for him, he'd be dead. <laughs> he lives. Oh, that Murden! Yes, he's the solo core Illidan player. Ah, this is not just any Murden, it's Blade. Well seen, uh, Efren. Sprint. A key tool for every Robo Gobo Gazlo. I can do it. Can I still aim? I can still aim. Feels impactful. Is my death timer unusually long? Or is it just a particularly painful sequence of events to watch? <gasps> Defending it pretty well. I guess they're on boss. We should capture this mercenary camp. Yes, it's just your time, pal. Grind in gears. Look. 
were defending pretty well because they were doing boss instead of pushing. Kind of pleased with that. I should go defend the boss. Forty OB. What's that? Defensive curse. Oh wow. I can do this. We're not 16 yet. Zombie wall doesn't hit you if you hold position in the middle of it. Or it almost doesn't hit you. The biggest mistake people make when there's a zombie wall is just constantly try to push against it without breaking out, without moving in the middle and hold positioning. Mana. Nice, we get cu curse. Curse boss can probably end. 25 globes, need 5 more. You are terminated. Nope. Just. Oh, what? Oh my god. Oh, yeah, sure. Whatever. Wow, well done by them. GG call. Does he have Moonfire build or what? Nope. Anyway, they're, they're losing a keep to it. It's kind of okay. Though if we leave now, it would not look bad on us. <laughs> Interrupted. <laughs> I thank you. Say it ain't so. Two days in a row. Thanks for the PSD love. <laughs> Pacific Standard Time love. Yeah, it's a bit of a later stream. Thank you very much, Tri-D. Today we're playing a number of specialists in a row now. We didn't start out that way, but it definitely evolved in that direction. 50 seconds on their boss. 18, 18 in level. I've got Sprint. Need three more glows for a nice health boost. They're not level 20 yet. This is a pretty difficult one for them to fight over. Very nice. Well, I wrecked Gargantuan. That's a nice little bonus for Robo Gobo against Nazebo. Matched. Actuators online. 
Let us capture this mercenary pack. Punch it! Yeah, baby. I'm loving them here. <laughs> nice try. One more globe. No need to be pushing. I go for Mecha Lord. Where do you go? Yeah, we should go for the core. What am I doing? Got distracted again. Good play by Murden, don't you think? He keep wanting us to chase, knowing exactly what he can do to keep us there without, and having us not go for the core. Mura creates so much space. Juke boss. Can I fit here too? Two for two seems good. Was that good? I think that was good. We lost our healer though, so... I'm thinking of going back, but they only have Abazul in Nazebo, so... Okay, let me actually unsay that. Oh, Spooters. Well, they're not ever gonna solo the boss. They don't have time, to be honest. If we keep contesting the boss, they're gonna lose left ways or right ways, doesn't matter. A noob go for the core, I go for the boss. It's a guaranteed win. Catch 22. It's not that I'm a noob and don't go for the core, it's just that if you do it this way, there's zero chance they hold. You could be like, why aren't you with uh, Anubarak? He already brought it to how much? But this is guarantee. It, it's just nice that everyone gets that as well. <laughs> we both missed. Hello, Zul'jin. Ah, Zarmany got the KS. And so Gazlo counters Abathur. And of course, nice teammates. And the funny thing is, he counters Gargantuan. Well done. You just Robo Gobo hit the Gargantuan and it goes dead in three seconds. <laughs> <MVP>. <laughs> yeah, sure. 
sure there's uh there's pro players on my team effortless communication no one needed telling how to do anything no one whined everyone gave calls and i just pve but somehow i have numbers sure i'll take it though i know it's not true i'll take it <laughs> Uh, I would say MVPs were Anubarak and Zarmini. Anubarak and Rag. But actually, we all didn't play bad. Like, we just worked together really well. Uh, the build, in case you were wondering, I'm not telling you to play Gazo ever, but the build is Regen Master, Merc Lord, what I did anyway. I wouldn't say Merc Lord was very necessary, but it's okay to tank the boss. Engine Gunk is by far and away the best at 7. 1 and 4, I think, are pretty situational. There's two options at 10, but I went for a Robo Homo. Uh, sprint, uh, Superior Schematics. No real synergy with anything else than this one, really. And then I went for Mecha Lord. It's raining Scrap is kind of cool, but when you already have Sprint, Scrap isn't as good because there's a lot of very important basic ability talents at level 13. Robo Gobo, Robo Gobo. Sorry, I'm not a native speaker. Uh, Got, got some words wrong sometimes. In Dutch, it's in Dutch. Robo Gobo is actually pronounced Robo Homo. That's why, and uh, homosexual is actually Gobo. So it's like it's the reverse. I sometimes get it wrong. I like the build that gives permanent turrets. Agree, agree. I don't think we should take this fight. Whoa.